welcome back and happy new year yes that's right it is spring and that means that it is officially the beginning of a new year of the earth's annual nutritional cycle meaning it's the beginning of a cycle that's going to take your body your temple one full year to get your full nutritional needs met I'm Michelle Gribble Dates with BeUmbrella.com and I'm so excited that you have chosen to reconnect to the natural rhythms of God's creation in the month of April. And I want to begin by just exploring the qualities of spring so that we can better understand the divine design of the harvest this time of year and as a result, what we should be putting on our menus and in our mouths. So the qualities of spring are damp, you know, it's soggy, it's warmer. It's a time when the seeds that have been underground through the winter sprout and offer us a powerful boost of nutrients. Now, even though the spring harvest is packed with nutrients, it's a small harvest. Um, if we look to our ancestors, we know that that early spring was often a very difficult time to access nourishment because by now the winter stores have been consumed and the spring harvest is just beginning. So naturally, our ancestors ate less in spring than in other seasons. And what they did eat from the earth was lighter and lower in fat. This is so perfect. This is so perfect because consuming a lighter, uh, lower fat diet is going to help your body to burn off the excess fat that hopefully you stored up in winter. I'm going to say that again. Hopefully you stored up some extra fat in winter because entering into spring, having that extra fat, using that fat as a source of fuel rather than continuing to dine on the same sweet foods, the same starchy foods from winter, it's going to give you more sustained energy through the longer days of spring and into summer. It's incredible. Um, leave, eating a, a lighter, lower fat diet in spring, it's also going to help your body to get rid of the toxins that are in your body and the benefits of that, they warrant their own video. Um, actually, it's so important to detoxify our bodies on a regular basis that beginning this fall, I'm going to start offering live detoxes every fall and spring that will give you a framework and a community in which to push the reset button in your temple, uh, to take a time out and to heal so that you can align yourself with the next grandest version of who God is calling you to become. Okay, it's not, they're not going to be detoxes of scarcity, they're going to be nourishing. Now, um, for now though, let's, let's reconnect to the natural cycles occurring in April. As I mentioned a minute ago, this is the time of year that our earth is holding on to water. She's swelling and she's supporting new life. And a similar process is happening in most people's bodies. Um, it's just that the, the extra sogginess in your body, it's producing mucus. It's producing snot <laughs> rather than sprouts and colorful flowers and fresh green leaves. But along with the snot is a new energy. And for most of us, this new energy translates into spring cleaning. You know, we clean our homes and our windows and our baseboards and our bathrooms. We clean our cars. And yet, for most of us, we totally look past our most immediate surrounding. The home that is closest to us. The home that is our very own flesh and blood body. After winter, spring is indeed the perfect time of year to clean house. And in addition to the closets and the kitchen cupboards, that means our bodies. You know, the microbes in our bodies in winter were important for keeping the body warm. And now that we're in spring, our microbes, they have a different purpose. They are meant to burn fat so that you can enjoy more stamina and a more stable mind in the year to come. 
I also want to shine a light on the fact that as Christians, we're in the season of Lent. You know, with its focus on praying and almsgiving and fasting, Lent is about prayer, giving, and fasting. It's so, it's so cool to me that God created the spring season to be a natural time of fasting and that fasting for Lent, eating less in spring, is part of our Christian tradition. Now, um, if you pay attention to your body, you will notice that you're not as hungry in spring. Seriously, if you will give yourself a little space to tap into what your body, what your temple of the Holy Spirit truly desires right now, in this spring season, in this month of April, it's to eat less. And I pray that you will honor that, that you will go with the flow of smaller portions. It is the way of our tradition. And more than that, it is how God created nature to nurture us. Because trust me, if you, if you lean into eating seasonally this month, you will experience less nasal congestion, less sore throats, less allergies, less headaches. And I don't know of anyone who is nurtured by stuffiness or snot. <laughs> okay, so here are some specific tips for April, all right? Tune into your body's natural desire this time of year to eat less and to become a better fat burner. Okay, and we're going to burn fat by eating good fiber, drinking lots of water between your meals, and moving your body. Okay, so this time of year, you want to be consuming foods that are lighter and drier to counteract those qualities of spring that we mentioned earlier, the heaviness, the wetness, the sogginess of spring. And these are going to be foods that taste pungent and bitter and astringent. Um, these are foods that are going to clean out your intestinal tract. They are going to literally scrub out fat, okay? Specifically, these are foods like sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, uh, Brussels sprouts, bean sprouts, whatever sprouts. Foods like asparagus, bitter melon, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, and leafy greens, leafy greens, leafy greens collard greens, kale, lettuce, mustard greens, spinach, um, Swiss chard, parsley, okay? I've been making smoothies every morning um, lately for my family and my two kids who are two and nine who would never pass up a donut, who would never pass up um, a slice of pie. They're loving them. And today, I loaded it with beet greens and dandelion greens. You know, dandelion, it offers a ton of antioxidant support. It helps to, to detox the liver. It's terrific for decongesting the body. Um, and, and for kids, you know, making snot is like what they do. It's like their job is making snot. So they're getting a lot of foods like dandelion greens right now that decongest the body. Again, the theme of spring is burning fat, and so that is um, that means it's not the time of year for dairy or for meat. That is not what nature is providing right now, and therefore, it's not going to allow you to live better in your body. Heavy, fatty meat and dairy in spring, it's going to compromise your immune system. It is the time, though, for legumes, especially sprouted beans, uh, kidney beans, lentils, mung beans, and also for raw honey. Okay, these are all going to help with decongestion and, and, you know, taking care of those allergies. Some super awesome spices for this month are going to be black pepper, cayenne pepper, clove, uh, cardamom and ginger and cinnamon and turmeric. Okay. If you start spring off by scrubbing your intestinal tract, by eating bitter roots, and then you rebuild the microbiology with, with microgreens, and then you flush the lymph later on in spring with berries and cherries, 
You're going to set up your digestive system and your immune system to thrive the rest of the year. Um, know that eating and drinking this way is going to help you to reduce snacking. It's going to reduce your cravings so that you can burn fat. You're going to notice an increase in sustained energy. You are going to be in a better mood and all because you are taking what nature is giving you. It's the way God designed nature and that includes you and that includes me. It's incredible. Uh, I'd also encourage you to be drinking a lot of warm water between your, between your meals or at least room temperature water. This is going to help your body to, to burn fat in a big, big way. Um, and of course, move your body. Go for a 20 minute walk every day. Close your office door, put on some music, dance for five minutes after you've been sitting at your desk for an hour. Um, play catch with a kid in your life who is playing baseball this spring. You know, go to a beginner yoga class, whatever it is um, that is gonna get you to move your body to flush out more fat this month, do it. And then one final note, and that is um, that depending upon where you live, spring may come in March, or it may not really come until May. Regardless, um, spring's arrival, you know, it can be kind of wonky with a week of, like a week of warm, wet spring weather, and then a week of colder, drier, more wintry weather. During this transition time, eat foods appropriate for winter on colder days, like soups and stews and root veggies. And then switch to your green salads, your lighter, low-fat foods on warmer, wetter spring days. Thanks for joining me today. May your body be a blessing this month. Namaste and amen.